where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. When I was in college, I asked a friend if she had a personal relationship with God. She replied in a disdainful tone, I'm a very spiritual person. That didn't really answer my question, did it? I'm not sure her definition of spiritual was all that biblical either. Sometimes I think I'm a spiritual person, but then I read passages like Matthew 5. Jesus begins his Sermon on the Mount with, Blessed are the poor in spirit. And like the crowd and my friend, I tend to gloss over that part thinking, oh, that's not me. But by the time I get to the end of the chapter, Jesus has proven to me that, yes, it is me. I am not as spiritually minded as I strive to be. No, I've never murdered anyone, but I have been angry. I haven't committed adultery, but I have had impure thoughts. I don't take oaths, but I do tend toward exaggeration. I may not seek revenge, but I don't always love my enemies as I should. Come to think of it, in general, bodily desires often crowd out much of my spiritual ones. I've always had a focus on food, but even more so now that I have diabetes. Losing our air conditioning for two weeks caused quite an uproar in my life. A headache makes me grumpy and snappy, and I tend to complain about things I can't control, usually having nothing to do with spiritual things. I'm more like the children of Israel in the wilderness, like Jesus. Then, Jesus throws in that last sentence in chapter 5. Be perfect, therefore, as your Father in heaven is perfect. Hmm, perfect? I'm nowhere near perfect. But then I go back to the beginning and read, Blessed are the poor in spirit, and realize that though I'm nowhere near perfection, I'm exactly where God wants me to be. Poor in spirit means I'm conscious that I am not perfect, that I'm not where I should be spiritually, that I'm completely unworthy. Then that leads to the next beatitude. Blessed are those who mourn. Once I realize my sin, the fact that I'm not where I should be, that should sadden me. As Psalm 51.17 says, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O oh God, you will not despise. Once I realize my sin, confess it, and lay it before the Lord, I can experience His amazing forgiveness. Remember what Jesus said were the results of being poor in spirit? Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. That's forgiveness, being comforted by God and experiencing His kingdom in our hearts. So, blessed are you when you mourn and are poor in spirit, for you will experience God's comfort and forgiveness. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to share a treasure God has given you by doing an episode, please contact us. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you'll find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Thank you.